I'll drop the children off. I don't know. It's 50 something degrees. It's a little chilly. And today is Thursday. You're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. This old Shack series. My partner and I have been fixing up a 1929 Extreme Fixer Upper that we bought at the cheapest house on the market. $20,000 were questing after that debt-free home ownership. And we're almost there to the move-in point with this house. Now, we've been working on this house for over a year. We do as much as we can ourselves. And today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. And on Friday, we get our mini split systems put in. So that means we'll have heating and cooling in the house. And I could not be more excited. And um, yeah, as far as moving in, we need from the government, our final inspection to have this house all legit and legal. Um, so we have a couple of things we need to fix with the electricity. We need to hang some drywall and we need that heating and cooling. Heating and cooling happens tomorrow. I can't believe it. it we are getting closer. It's, it, it's one of those things. I always tell people, it's one of my sayings, drip by drip, the bucket fills. Take it day by day. Take it project by project. When that's too much, take it one breath at a time. And this house has taught me patience. Drip by drip, the bucket fills. As we've got an closer to the end of this project I've, I've i've suffered with impatience i'll be honest i got really impatient but i also got really pregnant <laughs> and you know i'm a pregnant little mama with two children and i just want to get moved into my house the rental we're in right now um is a converted barn is a little bit of a tiny house. It's small, but when I first got that rental, um, it was such a blessing for me to save money to move forward on my debt-free dream of buying a fixer-upper with cash and then pouring my money as it came in and my time and my heart and my soul and my blood and my sweat and my tears into home ownership. Now, I got that rental for $550 a month, which includes water and actually uh, two oil tank fill-ups for the heat at the barn. So it was an incredible deal that allowed me to save money towards my dream. But when I first moved there, it was just me and Tom and Zinnia, my daughter and my son and myself. I was a single mom for years and I have developed a partner John, and he's my partner in the house and the family and life and love. And um, he lives with us in the barn now. I really never meant that to be a four person dwelling. And now I got another baby in the oven. I really don't mean that barn to be a five person dwelling. So I need to move into my big house here. <laughs> it makes me a little impatient. Little impatient, but we are definitely, 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 definitely getting so freaking close. So, tomorrow, heating and cooling comes in. And that's going to be good, too, because we can set it at a low temperature and make sure our plumbing that we have put into this house doesn't freeze um, while we're transitioning into moving into this house. Um, so we're in November. It, it, we definitely need that heating and cooling in here. Not so much the cooling, but that comes with the whole thing. I haven't lived anywhere where I didn't have to use window to window units in a long time, long time. Um, anyway, this house is going to be a lot of upgrades for the family. Um, so what I have to do, what I have to take care of this morning is because they're coming to install the mini split systems, I need to clear space um, where they're going to be installed. There's an outside unit with the mini splits. 
It's, it's similar to a heat pump if you're not um, familiar with the mini slits, but no duct work. Um, it's rectangle units on the wall. So we'll be having one upstairs and one downstairs, and then the actual heating and cooling thing will be outside and it like is hooked up to those. So I need to clear up space outside because I have just like scrap wood in that area. Um, that side yard where the mini split system is going is a mess. We had to tear down <laughs> a whole chimney and the, that side of the house was kind of open to the elements. There was like vines growing in when we first got this house. So that had to be like sealed up. Anyway, it's a bus over there. Um, I de we, de we had a contractor do that work, you know, make sure it's all sealed up proper and good and it's you had to get up on ladders and tear stuff down. We did have a contractor do that work, but one of my money saving things with the contractor is we have a good relationship with the contractor and he knows that we are people who are willing to work and we want to save money and we do all clean up ourselves. We do all demo ourselves unless it's up on the roof tearing down a chimney. But um, that's, we do the cleanup. And so we haven't done the cleanup on that side yet. It's just something we're gonna get around to. We don't pay someone an hourly wage to clean up because that's something we can do ourselves. Um, but yeah, I gotta clean up that side yard and clear out the living room for where that mini split is gonna go. All this scrap wood, I mean, some of this can be thrown away, but for now, I'm just gonna stack it in the basement, like throw away some of the smaller pieces. Um, this drywall needs to be moved. I'm gonna kind of stack some of the littler pieces and then get my son to help me, I think, when he gets out from school. You know, oh, y'all like these curtains? Y'all like my yellow living room? It's gonna be nice. So over here, where this painting is, is where a mini split would go. So I am not gonna move all this drywall by myself here. I am with child, but I can get, oh look, there's mess in this corner. So it's also gonna have to be run in hardwired to the house. And our circuit box is by the front door right over here. So it needs to kind of clear this path for that as well. I just need to do some tidying. Right up, a little aerobic exercise for the day. Um, running around, a little aerobic exercise, pretty good. If I didn't do this, I'd want to go take a walk on a trail. Now that I am feeling better, one of my priorities is fitness through this pregnancy so that I go into my third trimester strong. I go into Delivery, strong. Um, yeah. Being so sick for three months, I had COVID-19, and then I had morning sickness. I definitely lost fitness levels. <laughs> um, I have not been gaining much weight. I've just been a little bit wasting away, but... I feel better now. So I'm eating good and getting my exercise and it should be smooth sailing from here. Knock on wood. So this is morning I drop the kids off and I don't overdo it though. I want exercise but I don't want to overdo it. So I think I might actually be done moving that stack of stuff good and then I'll come back over this afternoon and I'll have my son to help me and I'll be refreshed and ready to do some more work. 
the afternoon has arrived. Trash. More trash. This trash right here by the previously white house that needs to be painted has to be moved. Um, Tom will be home from school soon. See, this is where we had the side of the house sealed up. Y'all, it is gray. The sky has been gray and gray and gray every second of this day, all day long. I have an extreme case of seasonal depression. Um, a, it's November. A, the clocks have set back and, but it's cloudy today. If it's raining or it's cloudy, it is honestly hard for me to function, but they're coming tomorrow. So I gotta do this. John is working. Thank goodness Tom's almost home. <sighs> All right, Zinnia's pulling the weeds for me. Zinnia really wanted a job, but moving yeah, wood is not the, the best the, job for her. Yeah, we didn't know if there was going to be a job for ZZ, but we found the weed pulling job. You better work hard after you begged for a job. You better pull them. Pull them by the roots, girl. Is my real champion. Hi, to call them some moldy wood out in the side, y'all. Tom is making a stack of the short pieces right here. Stack of long pieces over there. He is such a wonderful child. dislike having a junkyard. I'll be so glad when I don't have a junkyard anymore. Ugh. 